the scenario is how to forecast the profit for the next year it might be the next year first quarter or the second quarter or the third quarter so we are going to do that for that let us just drag and drop order date to the columns here you can just convert it to the quarter if you want to forecast based on the quarter and then i'm just dragging the profit to the rows so here you can see it is uh, forming like a line graph it's like automatic it is a line graph so in the left side in the data pane you can see analytics pane in that analytics pane you can find an option under model called forecast okay so once if you drag and drop the forecast you can see that this is the forecasted profit for the next year okay that is next year in the quarter 1 what is the profit and in the quarter 2 profit quarter 3 profit and quarter 4 profit if you want to customize this forecast you can click on the analysis that is the analysis menu click on forecast and click forecast options here you can find various option that is exactly one year so if you want to find it for exactly one years or two years you can even forecast for 2023 or exactly for the three years you can do it or if you want to find only for exactly next three quarters or next three months so all these things all these options you can do it in the forecast options so let us see what happens if we click on until so this is the forecast length which is and any one option you can select either you can go with automatic or else you can go with exactly or else you can go with until okay so if it is exactly then you can try um if it is like until you can see select and change the options so this is also available here for the next two quarters so this is first option and next is source data which is aggregated that is automatic quarters it is showing or else if you want to change something here you can also change it here on the drop down so if you want to ignore last first quarter so here it is showing like a quarter if you want to ignore the years okay you can ignore it will not show the quarters for the last year okay usually will not do it it will be let's keep it automatic and then if you want to fill in the missing values with zero you can click here to fill the missing values with zero and this shows the uh, prediction intervals that is if you want it for 90% or 95% or 99% so it will show the prediction intervals as well so this is how you can forecast in tableau the important thing is you have to use the dates in column and then you have to use the measure in rows